I'm one of the social workers here in the Northern Ireland Children's Hospice that I work in the family support team. Uh, one of the things that we do within the family support team is work with bereaved families. Um, it's a very special role with families and this is a very special garden that we have here uh, for our families that have been bereaved. More specifically, we would do work with siblings, brothers and sisters. Um, in the summer we had a camp and we embarked upon an art project with siblings and had it mounted for our new garden here at the Northern Ireland Children's Hospice. Um, it's just such a special garden. We had a forget-me-not service a few weeks ago here at Hospice and we opened the garden for the first time. We had lots of families here. We had some music and some food and they just had a walk around, placed their stones and um, it's just a really special time and place to remember their children and think about their children. Um, and in the siblings, we had um, an unveiling of their artwork um, here at the Children's Hospice as well. Hello, um, I'm Thomas. I work in the fundraising team at the Children's Hospice. Uh, the main point of this garden and the main point of the renewal of this garden is to be able to bring children into it more and get more use out of it. So there's a lot of green space now. There's a lot of area for planting and we really hope that in the future we'll be able to bring siblings in to plant and sort of talk about their, talk about their experiences at the Children's Hospice with the family support team. Um, it's also good because this is now a multi-sensory garden, so it means that the kids that we care for will actually feel the benefit of this. So there's a lot of um, light and colour and sound interplay. The water features here make beautiful trickling sounds. Um, there's bamboo planted here, which makes a nice rustling in the wind. So the point of it is to bring more benefits for the children we care for in a way that the garden just didn't do before that. Um, it's wonderful to be able to have this aspect of our service. Nursing care and medical care is really at the centre of what we do, but it's important that we're there to support families throughout the whole process of coming to the Children's Hospice. So that includes whenever the children are coming here for care, they can come outside, they can be out in the sunshine, they can benefit from all the multi-sensory aspects of the garden here but it also means that um, sadly whenever our, some of the children that we care for do pass away that their siblings can come here they can um, meet other siblings in similar circumstances they can plant bulbs in the garden they can care for the garden themselves and it's a really important link to be able to come back to the children's hospice and make those positive memories Northern Ireland Children's Hospice is the only children's hospice in Northern Ireland. We care for children in the north of the country, the south, east, west, and they all come to us for care. The Children's Hospice, our services here, are the only one in the country. Um, it is a big service to run, so we really rely on um, the support of businesses and charitable foundations like Sick rent a car Being able to pull off a big project like this that will benefit so many children in our care, it will benefit so many of their siblings, fantastic and we really couldn't have done it without 
the wonderful team at Six Northern Ireland, but then also the Regine Six Children's Aid Foundation, who've made all of this fantastic stuff possible. Hi, I'm Siobhan. I'm one of the managers at Six in Northern Ireland. Uh, the reason why I chose the Children's Hospice for the funding was because, as I know, there are so many charities in the country very worthy of the funding but the Children's Hospice here is just unique in that there's no other charity in the country like it. The work that they do is second to none. From a personal point of view, I know of a family local to where I live whose daughter was born with a life-limiting condition. She was cared for here at the hospice up until the end of her short life and they have always, always supported the hospital themselves, tried so hard to raise funds over the years so I just thought, from a personal point of view, I would like to be able to give something back to them. Working with Six and knowing how generous Six are, and with having the Regina Six and the Children's Aid Foundation, I thought this would have just been the perfect opportunity to be able to do something for someone local who I know, but also all the other families in the country who do depend an awful lot on the hospice. They come in here today to see the finished product of the garden, amazed, just amazed, way, way more than what I ever expected it to have turned out like. Love it. Really, the work that's gone into it has just been incredible. So I'm really, really pleased with the outcome.